Hi everyone, welcome to Irfan CFPS YouTube channel where you can learn various NFPA standards in great detail. If this is the first time you are visiting my channel, make sure to hit the subscription button below. Please note that when designing a sprinkler system, one of the first decisions a designer has to make is what type of sprinkler system should be installed. In our previous class, we learned about different types of automatic sprinkler system and explicitly reviewed wet sprinkler system type. In today's class, we shall discuss the second type of automatic sprinkler system that is dry type sprinkler system which is similar to wet sprinkler system with only one major difference. We will go through this type of system in next slides. Do not miss the end since there is an interesting animation showing the complete dry pipe sprinkler system. Let's start with the introduction of dry pipe systems. Dry pipe systems are more complex than wet sprinkler systems. These are also water based fire protection systems only. They are the most common choices for systems where freezing is a possibility. In some parts of the world, there is a chance of temperature going below 0 degrees centigrade. In those places, dry systems are used to avoid freezing of water. For example, if the temperature of the space or a building or a structure to be protected is less than 4 degrees centigrade, then there is a risk for the water in the piping to freeze. In this scenario, dry system type should be chosen. Dry systems also employ automatic sprinklers. As you can see from the figure shown on your screen, these systems does not contain any water in the piping network above the dry type valve to avoid freezing. In this type, the pipes are filled with pressurized air or nitrogen above the dry type valve. Upon activation of sprinkler system, air is released and water flows through the piping network connected to the water supply. Many people view dry pipe sprinklers as advantages for protection for water sensitive areas. This perceived benefit is due to a fear that a physically damaged wet pipe system will leak while dry pipe systems will not. Dry pipe sprinkler system is also intended to detect, control and extinguish a fire and warn the occupants of occurrence of fire. The installation comprises similar to wet pipe sprinkler system. Since it is a water based automatic sprinkler system, this system operates automatically without human intervention. As we discussed in our previous slide, in this system, closed head sprinklers are attached to a piping network that contains water below the dry type valve and pressurized air above the valve. Like a wet pipe system, when the temperature at the ceiling becomes hot enough, the glass bulb or fusible link of the sprinkler breaks. However, in this case, water isn't immediately available because the pipe is not water filled. Instead, air is released from the sprinklers that are activated as you can see from the figure. This creates a drop in pressure causing the dry pipe valve to open and water to fill the system. Water will then flow from the open sprinkler head. A flow of water through the pipe dry valve sounds an alarm. Since there is a delay between sprinkler operation and water flow, the size of dry pipe systems is limited. The size limitation is intended to minimize the amount of time water delivery is delayed. I hope you understand the concept of dry pipe sprinkler system from our previous slides. Now let us see a sample diagram on our screen which has water tanks connected to the fire pumps which provides adequate pressure and water flow rate to a piping network onto which the sprinklers are connected. As I told in our previous slide, in dry pipe system, water is filled till the dry type valve and the air is pressurized above the dry type valve. However, in certain locations like Minnesota in USA, where there is a possibility of continuous snowfall, where there is a possibility of freezing conditions, then the water tanks shall be insulated type or selected considering antifreeze elements. In some cases, heaters can also be installed to prevent freezing of water. In this scenario, the water is only available in the tanks and not charged in the complete network. Once the sprinkler actuates, then the control system will switch on the fire pumps and suck the water from the tank supply on the affected area but with 
टाइम डिले डिले टाइम टू रीच द वॉटर टू लास्ट स्प्रिंकलर शुड नॉट बी मोर दैन सिक्सटी सेकेंड्स इफ इट इज मोर दैन सिक्सटी सेकेंड्स वी विल कनेक्ट द एरिया विद ए सपरेट राइजर ड्राई पाइप सिस्टम्स ऑपरेट ऑन ए डिफरेंशियल प्रिंसिपल इन विच द सिस्टम इज एक्विप्ड विद ए डिफरेंशियल वैल्व दैट अलाउस लोअर एयर प्रेशर टू होल्ड बैक हायर वाटर प्रेशर दिस सिस्टम इज इंस्टॉल्ड विद ए क्विक ओपनिंग डिवाइस कॉल्ड एक्सेलरेटर एज यू कैन सी ऑन योर स्क्रीन देर आर वेरियस टाइप ऑफ एक्सेलरेटर्स इंस्टॉल्ड इन ए ड्राई पाइप सिस्टम देर आर स्ट्रिक्ट रिक्वायरमेंट्स regarding the maximum permitted size typically 750 gallons of individual dry pipe systems when a quick opening device is installed without quick opening device these systems can be permitted to be sized up to 500 gallons only in next slide we will see a animation video that shows the complete dry pipe system in detail let's start our class in next class we shall learn about pre action system and also the type of pre action systems thank you all for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to learn more on fire protection systems make sure to hit the subscription button below and click on the notification to get the updates thank you once again bye